Welcome to the number one highest rated hosting provider in the world. It's called Bluehost. This is Bluehost. It's a really good hosting provider. Many people rate this five stars and say that this is the best hosting company. And that's true because you can only start for $3, $3 or euros at month. And I will show you the plans that they got. They are already hosting over 2 million websites worldwide. That's really much. So they get 20 or 7 support. That's really good. You can always reach the support if there is something wrong with your website. <laughs> when I uh, tried to support them one time, uh, I chat with them like 10 times or something else. They don't care. They want to help you. So you also get money back guarantee. And right over here, okay, we're gonna choose for the plans. So I'm gonna click on the green button, see hosting plans. And it got really fast hosting. So that's great. So right over here are the hosting plans. The shared for $3 a month, that's nothing in my opinion for a hosting provider. And the VPS and the dedicated. So yeah, we will select the shared plan. And I will wait. And right over here, you have, I will explain this, you uh, can have the basic or the plus or the choice plus or the pro. With this, you have only one website. So it's really important that you don't choose this because you don't want to host only one website. That's wasting your money. So I will highly recommend to use this one, the choose plus with unlimited bandwidth, unlimited SSD storage, unlimited websites. Don't worry if you don't know what, what those terms mean. You don't need it because I know what it is and I highly recommend it. And you get unlimited parked domains. And okay, I'm gonna select this plan for 5 euro a month. And right over here you can see that you create a new domain or use your own domain. So right over here, you can choose if you create a new domain or use your existing domain. So in this case, we will use a new domain, for example, webstartingcompany.com and I will hit next and you will be redirected to PayPal. So we will wait until it's loaded. So this is available. It's an ugly domain name, but it's just for the tutorial to show you how this must. I'm going to use another domain name, a subdomain. And right over here you can enter your information and right over here you can choose the 12 months price for only $7 a month. So okay, you will get free domain protection. That means that not every one can look, sure, look, look up your data. And right over here you have CodeGuard Basic, it's free. So that is the backup plugin. And SiteLock is your um, your security, so your site security. So you can think this if you want, and if you don't want it, it will be cheaper. So right over here, you're gonna fill in your credit card information and all that kind of stuff. And then you will hit the terms of uh, and agreements, and you'll hit submit. After you submit this, you can log into your account and you will, um, we can install WordPress. So that's great. Okay, and right over here, you can enter your site name. In this case, in this tutorial, I'm gonna get my new website. Okay, and right over here in the site tagline, I'm gonna enter my company. And I will hit next. And I'll wait until it's loaded. Okay, and right over here, you're gonna select your primary domain. I'm gonna select Wirefy because that's my primary domain and I'm gonna install it. So hold tight, we will set up your website. This may take a few minutes to load. So it's it can take a while for the, this is depending on your server speed uh, or, or your internet connection speed. So okay, you successfully installed WordPress. So you see this weird URL right over there, ignore it. We're gonna log into WordPress. 
I'm gonna go by my password right over here and I'm gonna log in so you can ignore the URL because you're working in that URL but if you make changes to your site it makes changes to your primary domain so don't worry so I it's loading WordPress right now for us and yeah hold on the, hold on to your keyboard you will be there in no time that's great ah and it's right <laughs> no time okay uh, we're gonna visit our website to take a quick look how it looks okay we ignore all these things and I'm gonna visit it it's looking pretty empty and ugly I guess yep that's right <laughs> we're gonna change a lot of things don't worry so right over here we are at the dashboard and I'm gonna navigate to um, let me think appearance and teams so I will click on teams yep click and there it is there are our teams that we got but I'm gonna click on wordpress.org teams right over there on the top and I will wait until it's loaded and right over here I'm gonna ser search for the Astra team so I'm gonna take this team the Astra team I will click install and I will wait and I will activate it okay once that done we are gonna visit our website and take a look how it looks so I'm gonna take a look how it looks and I'm gonna visit the site right now and yeah I'm gonna take a look okay it's looking pretty empty and ugly but we're gonna change a lot of things we're gonna import a pre-made layout so it looks beautiful and you can choose which one All right, now we're gonna install the Elementor plugin. So I navigate to plugins and add plugin. And right over here, you can search for Elementor or go to the go do directly to the Elementor website. Link is in the description. And right over here, I'm gonna click on activate because I already have installed it. And normally you must click on install and then activate. And now we have successfully installed Elementor. Right over here, I'm gonna navigate to pages, all pages. And once we are there, we're gonna click on edit the sample page. And right over here, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna select here by Astra settings, no sidebar. This is an important step. And then this one, this is the most important. You want to set this to fill with stretched and not to fill with contained. So now it's uncontained, but you want to set it to fill with stretched. Then you're right. Then you have to write settings. Okay, this is important. So don't uh, forget to do this and disable the title. And right over here, I'm going to hit update. Okay, don't worry. We're going to get it soon. So we're gonna set up the home page right now as a static page. So I'm going to appearance and to customize. Otherwise, Elementor won't pop, won't work on the home page. It will go to a different page. So we are going to set up our home page right now. Okay, click on home page settings and click on a static page right over there. You see? okay we have this published and you can also choose take just take a look how it looks with uh your latest post then it will look like this your website is probably like this but you want a static page like this so yeah that was it for this video All right, people, now we will add sections to our website or pre-made layout. So I'm gonna show you something. These are the free templates right over here and the uh, other ones are all pro, but you can choose for, for your kind of website. If you wanna build websites for a client, I should choose the pro plan, uh, the links in the description. And right over here, I'm gonna click on the template 
and I will wait until Elementor is loaded and it's loading as you can see and right over here we are gonna yeah and what now yeah we are gonna edit this easily so um, I'm gonna remove this text right over here and I'm gonna type here for example build your website today okay now or today yeah it doesn't matter okay um and right over here you can edit everything visually like like clicking on this little pen and you can enter here your uh your um yeah let me think um whatever you want <laughs> so edit everything like this and i will scroll a little bit down to show you the team okay you can edit this pricing also really easy easily and fast so okay I set this to 50 to 200 and for example to 90 it's up to you and yeah so that's great so we finished nearly finished our website and now I want to show you how you add a block to your website and okay I'm gonna hit the little map and right over here by blocks I'm gonna choose a block and I'm gonna search for the category and I'm gonna search for a contact page so right over here you got the contact pages and I'm gonna insert this one so yeah okay this one and Elementor is loading right now because it's importing my block for me so okay now we have a contact us block and yeah you can type here your phone number or your business information so I'm gonna type your business information so right over here we are done with the website right now and that was easy isn't it it was pretty easy to follow in my opinion and um, I hope you've learned something valuable and uh, I hope you can start your own website right now. So that's great. So right over here, this is the website. And you can customize it on the way you want. So just choose a free template and edit it like how I, how I did. So okay. Um, yeah, now we'll visit the site. And I'll click on the plus button and I will enter wirefi.org that's my domain name and as you can see we got here right over build your website today with Elementor so we got a fresh clean modern looking website in just a few minutes isn't that great okay so uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want more. So I will see you soon.